Hey guys, what's up? It's Movie Mods, and welcome finally to a dreaded game I didn't really want to play. Five Nights at Freddy's. I promised you guys, if we hit a thousand subscribers, that I would play this through and through. And you guys delivered, so now it's my turn to hold up my end of the deal. I want to thank my buddy MX Pars for getting me this game so I could do this for you guys. I really do appreciate that, buddy. Thank you very much. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I'm going to be scared shitless. You're going to see me, like, be a baby bitch. We're going to do night one and two, because night one's obviously, like, you go right through it pretty easily. But night two is the real deal. And that's when they actually start to really get pretty hostile. So I'm going to go through night one and night two for this episode, and then we'll do the next episode, whatever. But yeah, so, I'm scared. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh, it's gonna get bad. New game. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, family pizzeria, looking for security guard, work the night shift, 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Uh, monitor cameras, $120. Risking my life for minimum wage. Just another day in the Moby Mods way, man. Yeah, risk my life for minimum wage, totally. I'd do that. Except I wouldn't. Because I'm not stupid. Oh, hate this. Oh, hate this. Oh, oh, hate this. What is this? Oh, hate this. Uh, Foxy... Foxy's is right here. And I would also have to check here, which is what my brother does. Oh! Oh, oh! to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact, so I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you'll be fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, uh let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, it does. but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. Yeah, my so respect. just be aware... The characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning yeah. your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wired animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcibly pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort. Discomfort, yeah. Death. Death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth and pop out the front of the mask. Sounds lovely. All for minimum wage. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. Why not? But hey, first station of the breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras, and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. Night. Yeah, no. The thing is, they don't tell you this shit when you sign up! Why would they not tell you this? 
That is such like a lawsuit waiting to happen. That's literally a lawsuit just waiting to happen at that point. And no one's moved yet. Ah, uh, it's just such a lawsuit waiting to happen this time around. Okay, my focus is gonna be on them moving this time, and the next time it's gonna be. Yeah, I have boxes go. When they start moving, I'm gonna check the uh, doors. But it's such a lawsuit. That's literally just such the biggest lawsuit I think that would ever be out there. Not telling you you're going to imminently freaking die. Let alone for minimum wage. And you think they would tell you all of that when you sign up. You think that would be like priority one. Like, oh, by the way, uh, if these things get near you, they're probably gonna fucking kill you. Just saying. You think they would kind of like warn you about that. You'd think they'd be like, oh, by the way, you are so fucked if these guys touch you. If they even come near you, oh, you are done. I wish I was told this. I probably, probably because a lot of people wouldn't sign up to do this and Bonnie's gone. A lot of people probably wouldn't sign up to do this at that point if, uh, you know. A lot of people probably wouldn't sign up to do this if that were the case. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, a lot of people probably wouldn't sign up to do this, though. Uh, if they knew about all that. Which, can you blame them? I can't. But the idea is to just keep an eye on. Check frequently. Don't do that. Don't steppy step. I want not. Probably wasting a lot of power room doing. Oh god. I hate it. Come on, 5 a.m., hit me up. My van, there it is. Come on, let's get to six. Come on. I hate this so much, guys. Why did you make me do this? I mean, a thousand subscribers, I promise, but like, why? Here you walking around out there, I hate it. Stop. Cease and desist. Don't do it. <laughs> what? Hi, what? He comes out on night one? I'm dead, but Foxy comes out on night one?
When was that a thing? I swear to God he came out on like night two or at least three. I was highly unaware that he came out at night one. Okay. We're gonna try that one more time. Uh, we're probably just gonna do night one right now and not night two yet. But like, I didn't know he came out on night one. I thought the whole deal was he came out at like night two or something. Okay. Um. I uh, did not know these things. I did not know he came out on night one. I was really unaware of this. All right. All right, so I have to keep an eye on Foxy's Cove. I didn't know he came out at all. I had no idea that he came out. I was so unaware of that fact. I was completely unaware of that. I actually, because what I've seen was he came out in like night two or three. And I, I didn't know he would come out now. Out of all times. I didn't know he would come out now. All right, back into it. Alright, we're just gonna switch to his camera immediately. Like, can I skip the call? How do I skip the call? How, how do I skip you? I don't care about your call. I don't care. I could care less. Oh. Oh, oh. Shut up. Good to know that he comes out, though, because I was unaware of this. I was completely un unaware of the fact that he came out. I did not know he came out. I was completely unaware of the fact that that guy ever showed up at all. Like, I knew he'd come out at, like, Nick Kewerton. Seriously, I keep saying that, but, like, I actually was that. He didn't even really scare me. That one was... Foxy's isn't really a jump scare. He's just kind of like, oh, hi. How you doing there? Man, I didn't. I wasn't ready. I didn't know he came out. So we're just gonna cover night one, I guess, because I, because I figured out oh, night night one was super simple. No one's gonna jump scare me really. I just handle it. It's good. It's whatever. Uh, no, not good. Not whatever. Uh, definitely not good. So there are they are a pretty hostile first night, which not how I remember this game being played out. I remember Markiplier playing it, and I don't remember it being that bad. Man, but we'll cover this first night. We'll definitely cover the first night. And we'll do the second night. It'll be essentially six episodes, because I will cover the sixth night. And, uh, yeah, I'll cover the sixth night for sure. For sure. Yeah, I was told to check frequently. That's Foxy's code. Oh boy. Don't like any of this.
I don't like any of this. I'm sorry if I go quiet, but I don't like any of this. Foxy, don't. Don't do it, Foxy. Don't do it, Foxy. I'm checking on you. Don't you do it. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Recommend that, Foxy. That ain't very cool, bro. That ain't cool, bro. Oh, man. Don't do it. I don't like you. I mean, I like you're my favorite character, Foxy, but at the same time, no. I don't appreciate you trying to kill me. It's unappreciated, at most. I'm just gonna close that for a second. Alright, she gets in the kitchen. So as long as that noise is playing, I don't have to worry about the right side. Let's go check anyways. Do it. You're gonna be a bastard? You gonna hurt me like that? You're not gonna do that, are you, Foxy? You're not gonna do that to me? You wouldn't do me like that, right? like that? Why would you do me like that? Why would you ever do me like that? You wouldn't hurt me. Why would you? What reason do you have to hurt on me, huh? I haven't done nothing to you. You shouldn't have to do anything to me. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna shut that. I'm gonna keep that shut now, because we got plenty of power. I can't do that most nights, but I'll, I'll, I'll keep that shut for now, you know? Just kinda, nah, nah, you know what? Nah. Y'all, you could just stay the hell out there, bud. You can just stay out there as long as you like. I ain't dealing with you. I don't have to deal with you. You're not something I have to freaking deal with. <laughs> you just stay out there. And you keep out there. And you don't bother no one else. Because you don't have to. You can just stay out there and exist. And no one will care. Because, well, it's rude for you to come and hurt me. I don't know, man. I'm just a guy, alright? I'm just a doge. I don't deserve to be hurt. But hurting me doesn't get anyone anything. I'm not opening the door, fuck you. I'm not doing it. You can't make me.
That was only night one, and I'm terrified. Yeah! Alright, seriously guys though, if you guys really liked what I did there and you want to see more from FNAF, please hit that like button, show your support, because I don't know if I could do it without you guys. But if you really want to see it, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We will do episode two. If this video gets 10 likes, I'll hit you guys up with an episode two. I'll do it. If we hit 10 likes, if we can nail 10 likes, I'll hit you guys with episode two. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, you know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah.